special intention for all our parishioners. Together with our different intentions, we now begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God that you, my brothers and sisters, that have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my God, through my God, through my mysterious God. Therefore, I ask this in the name of God, all the years of the years, and you, my brother and sister, to bring them into the world of God. May Almighty God of mercies forgive us our sins and Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who for the salvation of souls will, that the Bishop St. Francis de Sales becomes all things to all, gracious grant that following his example, we may always display the gentleness of your charity in the service of our neighbor, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Samuel. All the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, Here we are, your bones and your flesh. In days past, when Saul was our king, it was you who led the children of Israel out and brought them back. And the Lord said to you, You shall shepherd my people Israel and shall be commander of Israel. When all the elders of Israel came to David in Hebron, King David made an agreement with them there before the Lord, and they anointed him king of Israel. David was 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned for 40 years, seven years and six months in Hebron over Judah, and 33 years in Jerusalem over all Israel and Judah. Then the king and his men set out for Jerusalem against the Jebusites, who inhabited, who inhabited the region. They was told, you cannot enter here. The blind and the lame will drive you away. Which was their way of saying, David cannot enter here. But David did take the stronghold of Zion, which is the city of David. David grew steadily and more powerful, for the Lord of hosts was with him. The word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Response for your song. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. Once you spoke in a vision, and to your faithful ones you said, On a champion I have placed a crown over the people I have set a youth. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. I have found David my servant with my holy oil. I have anointed him that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. Faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. And throughout my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand upon the sea, his right hand upon the rivers. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. Hallelujah. 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 Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The scribes who had come from Jerusalem said of Jesus, is possessed by Beelzebub, and by the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. And that's the end of him. That no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder his house. Amen, I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but he is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they had said, he has an unclean spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. If Satan has risen against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. And that is the end of him. That's a very clear observation that Jesus makes in today's gospel to show us that however powerful a kingdom is, however powerful a community is, however powerful a family is, if a division crops in, you know it is weakened. And we know it for sure that whenever we stand divided in our mind, even as a family, we weaken our bond of unity and anything small will always put us down. And that's why Jesus came and made that type of observation, showing first of all how the scribes were divided among themselves. and how they could not acknowledge the power of God in him. And that's why he comes to tell them that that type of sin will never be forgiven because they totally denied the identity of Christ by denying and attributing an evil spirit in him. They were denying his pure identity as the one anointed to restore the fallen humanity and bring salvation to mankind. The first reading is like a testimony of what Jesus tells us, what unity can do. David goes in battle, but David acknowledges that his strength in God is the only weapon that he can use to overcome whichever enemy that comes his own way. And that's why even when he stopped to enter his city, Jerusalem, the one they consider as the city of David, knowing that the battle is in the hands of God, he endeavors and he gains victory. And he also knew that by bringing the two kingdoms together, then that was going to be the strength of the kingdom that had a divine hand. That's the kingdom of Israel and the kingdom of Judah, still showing us that unity is strength. 
we still go on praying. As we advance through the, our octave, praying for the unity of the church. Today being the seventh day, we are looking at the Eucharist as the symbol of unity. That from the Eucharist, we are supposed to draw strength to be a united body of Christ. Christ knew and valued the interior unity, but he also wanted to give us something that was concrete, that by partaking of his body and blood, something that is material, but at the same time, pointing to that spiritual unity. We must have that unity among ourselves, symbolized in the spoil that we draw and share together. But also, we must be united in him, so that like David, when we are united in him, whichever battle that we confront, we know it's not our battle, but it's battle that is accompanied by the Lord himself. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Francis de Sales Bishop and Doctor of the Church. He shows us what unity is by humbling himself to be all to all. He identified with every person in his own loneliness and in his, his own highness. And that's the only way we can demonstrate that type of unity. We don't need to be the same. We don't need to be equal. But we go knowing that we share the same denominator and work together for the unity of the church. We pray through his intercession that we may always struggle every day to identify with each other regardless of who we are. For all the members of the church throughout the world, both clergy and laity, may our shared mission of evangelization lead to the strengthening of God's presence in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear For leaders of nation and people, may the Holy Spirit lead them in ways of justice and compassion. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all struggling with difficult life relationships, may the Holy Spirit guide them in reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord For all of us gathered here today, may the Lord bless us and make us holy in His sight. We pray to the Lord. Lord For all the faithful departed, may God soon grant them eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord we now take a moment of those prayers that lie in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
may I just pray my dear brothers and sisters, it is my sacrifice and you are to make acceptable to God Almighty. Through this saving sacrifice which we offer you, O oh Lord, kindle in our hearts the divine fire of the Holy Spirit, <coughs> with which you wonderfully infamed in the most gentle soul of St. Francis de Sales, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is too right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever anew, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving, <coughs> saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, and their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so with all the angels and saints, we to give you thanks, as in exhortation, we are praying. Holy, 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 Holy. by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, we proclaim your death from until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. And must on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph and spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, and with him, and in him, O God, O my Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give now this day of our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us to 
Deliver us from the prey from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace. I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Love of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the sack of the Lamb. The body of God. The body of God. Amen. The body of God. The body of God. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that through the sacrament we have received today, we may imitate on earth the charity and meekness of St. Francis de Sales, and so attain and in the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you.
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.